July 8th will be a day that I'll never forget in the year of 2022. Hello everybody, my name is Mikos Kim Sage and welcome to a short uh, special episode of YouTuber Rambos. And today I'll be talking about my infamous Mr. Beast live subcount stream. If you enjoyed this video so far, please subscribe and like the video and let's get right into it. For those who don't know, on July 4th, that's right, July 4th, yeah, um, no, sorry, uh, when did I stream this? Look, it's been, it's been a while, you know, my, my head hurts, <laughs> um, but basically, somewhere in July, um, I live, I'm, I'm, since it was ongoing, uh, for those who don't know, Mr. Beast was gaining, uh, a lot of subscribers at that time and of course his goal was to get revenge to uh, to get revenge for PewDiePie uh, for T-Series and basically what happened is I was like you know there's these other channels on YouTube like the uh, the live stream ones you know um, Fire TV who are making live streams you know I, I tried to do this once as well uh, during the PewDiePie vs T series uh, sub battle, but uh, didn't really pop off. So I was like, maybe I should start a new another live sub count stream again, and that's what I did on July somewhere somewhere in July. Um, I did a Mr. Beast live sub count stream, and the last one that I have ever done. But before we get into the YouTube conundrum, let's talk about what happened during the stream. Well, this is all based from my remembrance since this was two years ago from now. And not everyone remembered it. I didn't have video recording of it. So basically, from what I remember, I started up the live stream and the screen was basically, you know, your usual sub count screen. There's the... Mr. Beast, and then there's T-Series on the side to side, and there's also my sub count, you know, just like what you would expect from uh, a normal live uh, live subscriber count live stream. And then, people started to show up. The view count went from 0, to 1, to 2, to 4, to 8, and then if I remember correctly, the peak, I think I got 20 views, 20 viewers, slash 30 viewers, something like that, in the, in the two digits max uh, I got from the live stream and the I think this was in my opinion during when I got strike for the first time because of the live stream I thought they thought I was sub button because during the live stream I gained so much subs you can probably find my social blade that's that's the during that time that's when I got so much subs and because of that live stream so yeah we were chatting and all and i even put down the uh cg5 uh he released uh if you don't know who cg5 is is a musician a singer a songwriter he uh, made a a remix of the mr beast outro and you know, the one says mr beast the one uh, mr b6000 yes that outro he made a remix of that and i just put it on the stream and i i didn't even realize uh, maybe i could i could get copyrighted from that uh, luckily, that wasn't the reason why uh, why it got taken down. Uh, it was, a, again, a community guideline strike. I mean, I was too small of a YouTuber. I don't think I would have gotten a copyright strike from CG5. You know, I think he's a lovable person. And I don't think he would just copyright strike me for no reason. Uh, even though I did use his song without permission. By that time, it was very steady uh, with the views. And, uh, yeah. And I, I really planned for the stream to be 24 hours. You know, just again, like your normal live, live sub count. I was thinking of maybe doing a uh, buying a host that can keep the live stream 24 7, but now I can find one. Well, I could find one, but it's expensive, and at that time I have no money. My dad didn't give me a allowance because I was still grade 6, if I remember by that time. So I didn't have a lunch allowance. Um, so yeah, uh, I had to run it through my PC and then I didn't even realize the stream got taken down until like I think I, I fell asleep. I took a nap and then it was at the 8 slash 9 hours of it uh, quote unquote running uh, that I saw that the stream got 
give me the guideline strike. And I was like, I was so confused, you know. The stream got taken down, and I tried to figure everything out, and here where we are. So, I'm gonna tell you what it says currently on my screen. Um, third, I feel like this changed. Right now, it says the it, it got taken down because of third party content. I remember this being something else. I, I forgot what it was. I think it was something along the lines of, uh, I think, just policies. And then it became third party content for some reason. And, you know, I tried to appeal. They did not allow. So I did. I was given a community guidance. I wasn't able to upload for one week. If I'm correct, I don't think I was able to upload one week. Or I don't actually. I have no idea. Um. Yeah. I. I think I was not able to upload for one week. Or that was something else. I know something else. But yeah. So that's the outcome. And. I actually just found this out as I'm recording this it's July 5 but I'm uploading this on the day uh, I tried to appeal which is in July 8 uh, the stream itself I don't remember when I actually stream so it's not exact so yeah um, uh, so yeah the appeal got rejected and then uh, I got a training uh, today I, I actually I was just checking it and then it I, I, I saw that I could do a uh, a training where you basically it's kind of like a quiz uh, on what the policy I violated is which is third party so it, it asked me questions like you know uh, Mark was streaming uh, a, mu a music without the permission of the music creator so does that violate the policy and say yes or no question it was pretty easy but I don't feel like I violated any of those I think I think the reason they didn't really give me an in-depth reason so it's still kind of vague but basically i think it was either a i was subbotting which i was not uh or b i the the stuff in the in the stream was third party content which it could be with either uh either the uh the street the uh, stream count that i use which was a website and I'm pretty sure they they wouldn't be they would allow me to use one, uh, the you know because they have the browser link I have to put on OBS, and then it would show up the, the sub count and it would update every second or so, but I don't think it was that, I think they would have just let me. And so yeah, besides YouTube was the one to, uh, send this down. Not any it doesn't say copyright or anything. It still says third party content, which I still don't know what that means. It keeps on saying you know maybe a image or a music it, it it's it's really vague and when I did try to appeal I it, it was a long ass essay by the way that appeal was a long ass essay still got rejected and to be honest with you they did they just didn't give me a whole ass reason I would have loved if they sent me a Google Docs or something but Oh, well, I took the training. The warning will expire on October 3. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for listening to my rant. This is probably one of the first episodes in a while that I did a YouTuber rambles under 10 minutes. Most of, uh, for those who don't know, most of the episodes in YouTuber rambles are over 10 minutes or so. 20 minutes over. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you very much for listening to my story. And to be honest with you, it, it was a long time ago. I forgive you, YouTube. I still love you as a platform. But, so yeah, until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry if my voice is a little dull. Like now we have guests on the living room, which is just right outside of me. I don't know if you can hear. So, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a great... When am I uploading this? I'm uploading this on the 8th. A happy Monday! Hey, happy Monday. Uh, but I am recording this on a... Friday last week, so yeah, from the point I uploaded this, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, which will also be this week, uh, no, this month, or maybe next month already, I have no idea, uh, I'm still planning on it, so yeah, bye bye. And you don't seem to understand, a shame you seem to know.